hello guys welcome so uh, we will be starting with the climatology basics in this lecture earlier we have covered uh, one lecture on geomorphology about the basics what is geomorphology and what are things are included in geomorphology now today we are going to study the climatology and what all things are covered inside the climatology so in this way we will uh, move in a subsequent manner how uh, topics are aligned so let's start what is climatology? First of all, there is a science which deals with the study of atmosphere component and characteristics. It's called meteorology and climatology. So, it is a science in which various components of the air, weather, uh, pressure, temperature, everything are related, and you know, and uh, and uh, to find out the relation between this is called meteorology and climatology, and came out with a conclusion. Uh, when in climatology we come and, uh, across the concept of weather and climate, what is weather? Weather is some total of atmospheric condition. That means what uh, what is happening at the particular time. Like if you are sitting right now, what is the weather outside? We will call it as a weather at particular time. So temperature, pressure, direction of speed of the wind, humidity, cloudiness, precipitation, visual uh, visibility, etc of a particular time at a given time so it's it's an everyday expenditure uh, sorry a everyday experience is the short term variation of atmospheric condition while on the uh, other side climate uh, is the same as weather but it is uh, for over a longer period of time say 30 to 35 years that means if we take average of the weather we come to a conclusion for climate so climate is a particular type of atmosphere at a particular location which remains constant for hundreds of years so that's why there, this is a basic difference between climate and weather while studying climate emphasis laid on the average weather over a long time so it's an average weather which is called climate it's also said that climate is an integration of weather and weather is a differentiation of climate if you have studied maths then you will become to know that climate if you if you want to find out climate you just integrate weather and if you find if you want to find out weather then you just differentiate climate now we come to the concept of meteorology what is meteorology it is a science of weather it is derived from a word called meteorologia there is study a uh, study of heavenly phenomena things in the air but like whatever what are what is whatever is present in the air now but present day it deals with the atmosphere and atmospheric conditions so what is the atmosphere what is the atmospheric condition atmospheric parameters especially weather and weather forecast so nowadays we usually use uh, meteorological data for weather weather forecasting in order to predict whether the cyclone will be there whether rain will be there or not so on the basis of this information data collected from different meteorological station now we come to about the subdivision of meteorology uh, sub, uh, meteorology is divided into various subdivision first is aerology there is study of structure of atmosphere like uh, uh, above the surface of the earth what type of layers are there like uh, thermosphere troposphere mesosphere ionosphere exosphere so it is concerned with the layers of atmosphere so and the second uh, subdivision is dynamics or theoretic uh, theoretical uh, uh, meteorology so it's a study of motion of atmosphere like how the air is moving how its physical vari uh, variables are varying physical variables like power pressure temperature velocity etc so this is dynamics meteorology now the third one is physical meteorology so it's a study of physical atmosphere phenomena of which electrical optical and thermodynamic process so uh, here we uh, go on to a deeper technical side of uh, meteorology in which we study about the optical phenomena of the atmosphere thermodynamics how temperature is changing and what parameters are changing processes uh, there is working force in the atmosphere like what are the force that are working on atmosphere and we come to the one of the most important uh, meteorological subdivision that is synoptic uh, meteorology so is a condition over a large area meteorological condition over large areas like if we consider air masses so air masses rising along the mountain slope may result in a heavy snowfall local weather condition can be predicted by synoptic forecasting synoptic chart have you uh, you have, have a, uh, whenever uh, whenever you have opened a book of geography you have seen that there are 
some uh, round round circle circle uh, contours lines are there so these are called synoptic charters so based on uh, based on this the study of synoptic charters uh, the geographer or meteorological come to the conclusion about the type of weather uh, climate whether it is going to rain or not how the uh, weather or air is moving in the earth's surface then the fifth uh, subdivision is aeronautical meteorology which is uh, generally related with the aviation like which is uh, mainly taught uh, uh, in the when you are going for uh, airplane where uh, so mainly for the aeronautics division it is going uh, it is used now we come to the basic definition of climatology there is a science of climate seek to study the physical state of atmosphere over a specific region during a specific period that means it's a climate which is there at a specific region it can be india it can be world it can be nepal it can be bhutan it can be anywhere in the world over a specific region during a specific period that they have a time frame for that so and also the study of a particular area in a particular time frame is called climatology the aim of climatology is to discover explain and explore for the benefit of man the normal behavior of atmospheric phenomena bearing in mind the irregularity in the atmospheric behaviors of subdivision of the climatology what are the subdivisions in the climatology the uh, first one is the physical geography it explains the climate at the surface of the earth immediately above the earth surface that means it is usually deal with uh, troposphere and uh, stratosphere so since the surface is modified by the human activities like agriculture industries uh, pollution and as such urban climatology that is uh, 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 the the climate uh, climatology of the urban areas how uh, urban areas affect the climatology and uh, uh, pro, uh, made any significant changes in the basic environment condition of, of that place so it assumes a greatest importance and a major component of physical climatology then we have a dynamic climatology which deals with the moments of the atmosphere so dynamic climatology deal like the basic uh, uh, movement of the atmosphere there is major contribution having study of increasing greenhouse gases like how greenhouse gases are distributed uh, uh, by the air, by the air uh, greenhouse condition uh, are uh, distributed by the air in various part of the world like north pole and south pole so role of mountain so how how mountain uh, act as a barrier and and hinders the flow of air which causes the uh, uh, rain or snowfall then again we came uh, to the sign optic climatology use the con concept of synoptic climatology use the concept of physical climatology and dynamic climatology to derive its chief tool synoptic chart so so synoptic climatology use the data of physical climatology and dynamic climatology in order to derive a data to make synoptic chart so different circulation result in different climates el nino is the basic examples of this hemispherical climatology studies in the recent past then we have regional climatology that is a study of type of distribution pattern and character features of the world climate how va various climatic regions are there in various part of the world some is the desert region some are the tropical region some are the temperate some are tundra region so how what are the uh, reason behind all these kind of varied pair patterns of the uh, uh vegetation and all this is this all depends on the regional climatology and what are the weather patterns over there so it is uh, further divided into macro climate region meso climate region micro climate region these are all we are going to study in the further lectures but some of the three pioneer who classified the world climate are copen thornbrae and thurwartha this is uh, we are going to study even in uh, our geography paper 1 and geography paper 2 since uh, this is a topic in both the papers then we come to the fifth division that is applied climatology what is applied climatology so we use all the previous information that we have uh, seen before 
and make it out a model for applied in a real world. Seek to apply the climate knowledge for solving various problems faced by the human society like pollution, global warming, climate change, interaction between climate and biosphere, influence of climate on plants, animals and man. So, so applied climate policy is initiating the interdisciplinary research. So it integrates the various fields in order to come out with a particular solution or reasoning. So uh, now we uh, are going to study what is the significance of studying of the climatology. First of all, agriculture is entirely dependent on the climate. Since mostly, uh, mostly most of the parts of the world are rain fed rather than which, which depends on the rain. So it, the rain uh, usually depends on climate. Determine the energy requirement both conventional and non-conventional. Non-conventional resource depends on sunshine and the speed of the wind which further depends on the type of climate whether it is windy, windy will be there or not. Then third one is availability of water is dependent on the type of climate experienced by particular region. Timely forecast came save people from the situation like cyclone, flood and drought. So these are so here we use our satellite imaginary uh, imagery for this application safeguard against environmental degradation it works us from the actual potential danger it wants us uh, it wants pro us from the actual potential danger caused by air pollution global warming so we are we have uh, developed various tools which uh, uh, co uh, collate the data of the climate in order to give a exact conclusion about the various type of pollution global warming is there or not and reports are published based on these data significant role in selection of the site and designing of the building so uh, uh, the designing of building also take care uh, is taken by what kind of climate is there how to align a building in which direction we have to align field of health what kind of uh, atmosphere is there if it is a humid and moist atmosphere is a humidity in there so it will be a very uh, a disease prone area if it is an arid region it will be less disease prone forests are also dependent upon the type of the climate so now we come to the end of this chapter please subscribe to the study IES exam and stay tuned for the next lecture thank you